the Prime Minister's package of five schemes and initiatives to facilitate employment, skilling, and other opportunities for 4.1 crore youth over a five-year period. NDA's maiden budget speech in their third term focused heavily on employment. Prime Minister's package, three schemes, over 1 lakh crore rupees in investment. All was met with a loud thumping of the desks. This year, I've made a provision of 1.48 lakh rupees, 1.48 lakh crore rupees for education, employment and skilling. But the 2024 interim budget did not announce employment-related schemes and neither did last year's budget. So why now? A day before the budget, the union government released the economic survey report. It highlights rural unemployment, showing that Kerala, Punjab, Haryana, Odisha, Bihar and Tamil Nadu have high unemployment rates. And most of these states have elections coming up in a year. Take Haryana for example. It has unemployment issues and farmers have been protesting against the government for a long time. The 2024 Lok Sabha election was a wake-up call for the BJP as Congress won 5 out of 10 seats. In 2019, Congress's tally in Haryana was just one seat. Agriculture always plays an important role in the budget and this year it was priority number one. So is this sudden focus on employment and its allied sectors just a clever way to win over voters? After all, in nearly 100 Lok Sabha campaign speeches, Prime Minister Narendra Modi barely touched upon employment. And when he did, well, here is what he had to say. Abhi Modi ne tai kiya hai ki Bihar ke 90 se jada railway station ko aadhunik banaya jayega. Kya ye bina rojgar paida kiya hoga kya? The issue of unemployment made an entry in Lok Sabha campaigns with opposition being relentless about it. Even the BJP's manifesto did not go into much detail about employment. But the schemes announced by the Modi government now were mentioned in the Congress manifesto. Whether it is apprenticeship programs or employment-linked incentive schemes, Congress had spoken in length about it. This is the first time in recent years that the Modi government has come up with a comprehensive plan for employment. So has the Modi government finally acknowledged the employment crisis that the opposition has long accused them of ignoring? Or does the sudden interest have an electoral notion behind it?